When I saw Leeds United in 1966 from this very end, I saw them white shirts and uh, I knew that were for me, that were my team. And I've not missed a game anywhere in the world since 1968 uh, when I was 12. I couldn't have been born in a better time as far as Legion Knight were concerned. I fell smack in the middle of the Revy era, uh, just beginning to build his side and uh, everything was coming together and uh, his vision of a great club from a, a bottom of the second division club to, to ruling the roost in Europe. There were no intention of going to all them games, it was just how it's happened. People just kept asking me what we're going to do if you miss the game and my only answer to that was just I'll go to the next game. They gave me an award at the pitch when I'd done 40 years, and I thought, that's not bad, that. Following Leeds in pain and glory, it's been a roller coaster, and then we've gone from one extreme to the other. We were playing Valencia in a semi final in the European Cup, and just a matter of years later, we were playing Yeovil in the league, in League One, um, and that brings you down. When we were kids and we were coming, uh, they used to lay straw on top of on top of the pitch here to protect it from snow and frost and uh, all high tech stuff <laughs> um, and then used to sweep it off before the game and it would all, we'd help them do it and they'd put it all against the wall, against the, the, the Lowfields Road here as it was then and we'd, we used to sit in the straw and watching the game. I had trials with uh, Huddersfield Town back in the early 70s. I was offered a second trial uh, but the second trial um, coincided with Leeds playing Chelsea in FA Cup and instead of going to the trial, I went to watch Leeds instead. I told my father I'd been to the second trial but then they, they rang our house about a week later asking why I hadn't gone to the trial. So I was in trouble with my dad then. <laughs> I remember a pantomime horse invading the pitch against Liverpool in the mid-70s, I think it was. It just came from nowhere out of the Lawfields Road and just, just this horse just appeared over this wall and, and just ran across the pitch with one copper running for him. <laughs> and he actually caught up, but he didn't know which end to go for. And it was it were really funny. And the, the, the Leeds fans made a song saying goodbye to my horse as he was getting led down the tunnel. Um, and that song, they still sing that now. Leeds United fans are, for me, a second to none. They've had so much thrown at them over the years. Never gained any recognition. Uh, they're, they're such a special breed. And for me, they really are the best fans in the world. They're stuck through them by a thick and thin. It means so much to me being a Leeds United fan. It's obviously been my club for a lot of years. I've loved every single minute of it. The ups and the downs have all been significant and they've been part of history. And uh, I wouldn't change it for anything. <laughs>